The shark has somehow survived the multi-gigajoule explosion unscathed. But just like that, she's on to other things. In case you're wondering about me, the network Namby Pambies canceled our program due to depictions of actual death. So I'm now broadcasting online, free from the meddling of censorious busy. These are Chinese-made rigs. If there's any catastrophic methane explosions in the near future, you can't tell me that's merely an accident. Hi, my name is Trip Westy. Recently, I produced the television nature series, Man Eater. Over the course of filming, our cameras witnessed unprecedented displays of evolution, strange mutations never before observed by the human eye. When I spoke to a prominent marine biologist, she claimed it was due to Port Clovis's extreme levels of radioactivity and industrial effluent. But I couldn't shake the feeling that she was merely trying to play. Me. What did she mean? And why wasn't she telling me? Then, as if the stars had all aligned, the former Q level security specialist sat down next to me. What he told me would haunt me for the better part of a year and lead me back to Port Clovis on a dangerous journey through dark secrets, government cover ups, and a clandestine cabal of extraterrestrial elites single-mindedly determined to enforce their will on humankind. Come with me 
on a quest for the truth. Truth quest. Judging by the bull's behavior, she smells a new creature. If it threatens her apex status, a heated confrontation is inevitable. Predator must act quickly, lest she lose the scent of her prey. It seems she lost the trail. The Predator must act quickly, lest she lose the scent of her prey. The shark works the odor trail with a singular focus. She's caught scent of Jormungandr, the old encircling sea serpent of Norse legend. What admirable hustle! has disappeared, probably whisked away by a government boat, lest we capture the beast on video. Sinister, masked behind holographic alien technology. Using crude weapons to take down alpha predators is a skill many shark hunters hone while in the Female bull responsible for Questers, whatever it is the shark caught sent of. The secretive Black Ops unit, conspicuously called NWO, has captured what might be their nefarious plan. There you see it. The Ishtar Gate and Processional Way are being constructed to welcome all variety of otherworldly entities to seduce and deceive mankind. Does this smell unusual? Or is that just a Yeah, a breeze. 
the hunt ends. But this is a mere pause in the eternal struggle between man and nature. The markings on this satellite suggest that it belongs to Site P, a top secret military community, and perhaps the home base of the NWO. You could chalk up 23 oil spills in the last five years to incompetence, sure. But I think you should open your minds to the idea that these were planned events. This is the Plover Island Complex, commonly referred to as Site P. Whatever bizarre and dark depravity lurks within its bowels, we're about to find out.
This is a decade in its final stage of collapse. Here, the great galleons of the global conspiratorial elite. Our extraterrestrial overlords retaliate out of fear of exposure. demonstrates the importance of getting enough minerals in her diet. There's nothing wrong with my vision. That's enough for today. You'll get it next time. The enemy's plans for a global fashion... The big fish seek shelter as the NWO shock troops assemble. This satellite is but one of millions in the villainous cabal's interstellar quantum communication. the very pillars that prop up their temple of lies.
sonar? More like nose. The Dark Brotherhood withdraws to revitalize themselves with, one can only guess, the ritualistic drinking of human blood. The expansion of Lucifer's One World Kingdom will have to wait another day.
Anticipating a reprisal, the predator flees. The NWO is still in hot pursuit. Fish must be cunning, because unlike her pursuers, she doesn't have a 5,000 horsepower engine. This footage could only be captured with the best professional-grade Swedish drone cameras. She successfully evaded the New World shock troops, at least for the time being. Government suppressed free energy source, the electric great white. The hell is that? This shark understands that she needs to eat essential minerals to stay healthy and grow. stuff will end up in the stomachs of sharks.
PWO threatens to execute Protocol 5. Begun to a maximum. What she's already witnessed, the predator lashes out against the illuminous group's deceitful agenda. There's no such thing as targeted weather warfare, then why am I occasionally inconvenienced by rain, snow, and excessive cold or heat? Like the futile thrashing of a dying lion, we are witnessing the collapse of the old and impotent New World Order. Constantly reminded of how man's intrusion has disrupted the fragile equilibrium of the marine world.
shark decides to nourish herself on the local farm. One on an empty stone. this channel six months ago, only to be met with personal attacks by uninformed citizens like Bong Lord 69 who commented, what a dumb A-word, F-word, piece of S-word. Continue with that lane for several years. by fish for electrolocation, electrocommunication, or just to fry their fellow sea creatures to death. and untrue. The Masonic forces will stop at nothing to maintain power. Many people believe that 300,000 years ago, the insectoids created humans to mine the Earth's gold. But this is absurd. They're clearly more interested in our copper reserves. Let me, let me get this. So it's a bull shark, but it doesn't look like a bull shark. The government enforcers retreat to polish their jackboots. Mutagen 23 is certainly heating up the evolutionary arms race.
as we venture further into the heart of darkness, you may be shocked by the atrocities unfolding before you. Block 50 users from commenting. This is just the sort of response I prepared for after dedicating myself to informing the masses about the real truth behind global events. Polysaccharides, sugar bubbles, and naturally revitalized human joints. Only chocolate has 1,000 gross milligrams in every gym. And it's all from survival.
with killer whale blood. With big fat heart plus, you can rest assured knowing there's never any harmful fillers or additives. Just 100% or sinus or It's free in cardiovascular support, and it's only from survival. Shark has taken a keen interest in an electrical transformer. You can tell that this is old World War II technology due to all the flickering. In the kill or be killed world of the sea, performance enhancing mutagens provide benefits that could mean the difference between life and death.
shadowy cabal despises them for her independence of mind and spirit. This ship is more of the otherworldly technology that Dwight Eisenhower acquired in his 1954 abduction pack with the aliens. The shark has successfully avoided the scythe of the murderous clique of alien conspirators. Transformer must have been powering NASA's insidious Project Bluebeam. But how did the shark go?
The explosion has drawn unwanted attention. The patriotic Piscus must be swift to avoid capture. He should hurry, as trespassing on military property could result in a six-month prison sentence. I haven't seen a fish this wily since Faye Winkleman tried to catch that pike in northwestern Ontario. The Bulls Olfactory Center registers the sweet smell of freedom. Now we see what the NWO's been hiding. Inside sources have ascertained its name, Moloch. This devious aquatic bioweapon is designed to disperse a mist of viral particulate, a potent combination of Ebola, anthrax, and Lassa fever. Within weeks, it will spread from Port Clovis to infect the entire world. Then, Big Pharma will reveal that they've developed a vaccine. The price? Every country must submit to the Insectoid Brotherhood. We must stop them before they can implement their demonic program. 